Yeah. This is Bryce Armstrong in uh, Dallas, and uh, Dean Weber on the other line here. Oh, fine. Thank you, Dean. Hello, Brian. Uh, surprisingly enough, you've got a story that we don't have concerning what's happening here, and we'd like you to feed it to us, if you will, concerning this photograph, if you will do it, sir. Okay. Uh, why don't you just end it off by saying this is Dean Weber, and don't say where or how or when. Fine. If you will do that, we'll be mostly appreciative. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just sign it with a straight name credit. Um... Let's see, you want the story about uh, the photo with the guns and the... Uh... Yes, this is something that's uh, not only do we not have, but our uh, wire service does not have it either, and uh, we're up a tree, and I was quite uh, surprised to find out about it. Okay. Uh, you tell me when to go. Uh, you may fire when ready. We've got the tape rolling. Dallas police are claiming an airtight case against pro Castro marches Lee Harvey Oswald as the assassin of President Kennedy, including photos of him holding the rifle. Police are showing the photos to the sullen 24-year-old ex-Marine from suburban Irving, Texas, who is steadfastly maintaining his innocence and also is denying slaying a Dallas policeman. The photos show him with both the rifle used to kill President Kennedy and the pistol used to kill pursuing patrolman J.D. Tippett shortly after the assassination. Dallas Police Chief Jesse Curry is breathing police evidence tighter around Oswald. The FBI reports that Oswald bought the Italian 6.5 Carcano bolt-action rifle with a telescopic sight from a Chicago mail-order house for $12.78. The handwriting on the mail order is Oswald. The photographs were found at Oswald's home in Irving. They show him with a pistol strapped around his waist, holding the rifle in his hand. Behind him can be seen two periodicals, one has the headline, Be Militant. The other has a headline reading, The Worker. This is Dean Weber. Dean, you're a lifesaver. We appreciate it.